So the last tip here, number eight, um, is to measure, refine, and measure again. So um, digital marketing is not a static thing. Uh, and it's not something that, you know, there's one answer, you, you do it, and you're done. Uh, it's evolving, and it's an iterative process. So the only way that you're going to get better and improve and stay current is if you're measuring and refining and changing. Um, there is a saying that, you know, 50% of my, I know that 50% of my marketing is working, I just don't know which 50%. Um, don't get in that situation. You know, today, especially with digital marketing, there are so many great tools out there that can help you measure what's going on uh, that, you know, it's, if you're not doing that, you're, you're just potentially throwing a lot of money down the drain. So um, expect this to change and evolve over time and inform it with measurement. Um, there were a couple of things we wanted to point out um, that you can measure. So first of all, your website. You, there are a few things you want to be keeping track of there. Um, you want to definitely be tracking the number of visits. Um, what, what's happening with that? Is it, is it flat over time? Is it going up or is it going down? Um, that's going to tell you, um, you know, how you're trending and if you might need to make some changes to um, get the traffic to start going back up. Um, you want to track where those visits are coming from. Um, so, you know, did you run an ad in, you know, a local online version of the paper? You're going to be able to see if that's actually sending any traffic your way. Keep track of that and then invest more in the sources that are working or potentially try to get some new ones that you're not seeing any of. Um, track your bounces. So uh, a bounce, the technical definition of a bounce on your website is somebody that comes to the site and views just one page and then they leave. They never get to a second page. It's a critical metric to keep track of. The global average for websites is just under 50%. So half of the visitors of your site on average are gonna get there and leave. If your bounce rate is above that, that's a strong indication that you need to have some more engaging content. So that's where you go back to the images, go back to the video, um, start putting that in there, and then keep track of the bounce rate. Uh, leads. So again, we do want your website to be working for you to be generating new business. Keep track of the leads. Um, that's really important. If your website's not generating any leads for you today, that's a missed opportunity. In social media, there's a lot of stuff that you can track. Um, first, you're definitely going to want to track the number of people who are following you if you're on Twitter or the number of likes that you have. This is your, your reach, um, so keep track of that. Obviously, you want that to be trending up over time, and it will be challenging. Um, it takes a lot of time and effort to get that up. Don't, don't get frustrated. Um, keep track of the level of engagement as well. So there are some things you can measure. You know, are you getting any retweets if you're in Twitter? Are you getting any, any likes on your articles or shares or comments? If you are, that's a great sign that people are liking the type of content that you're putting out there. If you're not, you need to change it up. So keep track of that level of engagement. Uh, and then in email, there are a few critical metrics that you want to be keeping track of as well. And we're talking about you know, mass emails here, not your one-to-one -one emails, um, but when you send out a newsletter or something like that. Um, you want to definitely track the opens. Um, the opens give you a strong indication of uh, how good of a subject line you have for your email. Um, you need to entice people to open your email. Um, Keep track of the clicks. Uh, frequently, um, you're going to have links in your email. Um, so we just mentioned the blog. You know, if, you've, if you're you know, uh, talking about a blog article that you just wrote, don't put the whole blog article into the email. That's just going to probably make it too long. Um, instead, just do a little intro paragraph and have a link in there that takes them out to the blog. You can track, um, usually, depending on what software you have, you can track how many people click on the links in your email. Keep track of that. How is that trending? Uh, and then lastly, leads. Um, your emails can and should generate leads for you. Um, they can be shared. You know, a friend can forward it. Uh, you want to keep track of how that's working for you.